Hello Scorpio, welcome to Tarot So Fine. Today is, I'm doing a general tarot card reading for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the first week of June 2020. And so that'll be for Monday the 1st to Sunday the 7th. And I'll be using the Tarot de la Nuit for your reading. So let's see what the cards reveal for you. What is it that Scorpio needs to know for the first week? week of June. What does Scorpio need to know for the first week of June? Scorpio. I just saw the hangman there. Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? That was my cat, Phoenix. Scorpio need to know. One more shuffle. Okay. First card is Justice. Second card is the Five of Cups. Third card is the Five of Wands. I felt some kind of agitation. Yeah. Fourth card is the uh, High Priestess. Bottom card is the bonus card, Angel de la Nuit. So that's good. This looks like you're having a little bit of a hard time here. Okay. So the bonus card, really important in your reading. It says that you've really been through something tough here, but your angel guides, your angels, your people that have crossed over, that are looking over you, you have help. You have help around you. They've been helping you, and uh, they're helping to guide you out of a dark period. A difficult time, difficult situation. Um, so that's really good. And those times, they usually make you stronger, don't they? So um, we have two major arcanas as well in your reading. We have Justice and the High Priestess. So, something was very disappointing to you. you. You were having conflict with people. You may still be having conflict with people. I feel like you've been very disappointed by um, other people's actions here. We have Five of Cups and the Five of Wands. Perhaps people you thought had your back didn't have your back. People that you may have been loyal to um, took advantage of that. They didn't return that loyalty to you. But justice will prevail, because we have the justice card here. Whatever was, uh, whatever wronged you will be corrected. Um, so I feel like, like I said, with this Angel de la Nuit, everything will be sorted out. You have help on your side. The High Priestess kind of goes with this um, Angel de la Nuit. You have help from the other side. The hidden. There are things that are hidden. Maybe some people hid some things from you. Uh, and you feel let down by that. But justice 
prevails, justice sees everything. You can't hide from the truth. The truth comes out sooner or later. And the good news is that you see here the five of cups this mermaid she is she looks stranded on this rock but all she has to do is dive in the water so that's where she belongs in the water so I feel like I think this is saying that if you feel powerless, you're not. I think you need to dive into your intuitive side, your all-knowing side. The answers are there. That's where you'll get your comfort. That's where dis disappointments will dissolve. They'll melt away. I feel like some of you were hoping that you could uh, reconcile with somebody. I'm getting that. Or you wanted you wanted things to work out with other people, with certain people or a certain person. You wanted to um, mend things. You wanted things to be corrected. You wanted to make things right. But for some reason, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. I feel like there's a reason, well, there's a reason for everything, and I feel there's a reason why things happened the way they did. And you may not be clear on what that is at the moment, but I feel like it will be revealed later on. I'm getting that from the High Priestess. And the Justice card. I think there's something better coming for you because we have a ship here in the distance. And in the traditional Rider weight, the Five of Cups shows three spelt cups, but there's two upright ones. So I feel like it's whatever has happened is a blessing in disguise. That's what I'm getting. My nose is at you. Yeah, I feel like um, it, ha it had whatever you're going through, it had to happen that way uh, because there's something better for you. There's something better coming for you. You just don't see it right now. See, there's clouds here. So you're unable to see it and you're stuck in your head. You're stuck in your head here. You're stuck in the sorrow. Underneath the uh, Angel de la Nuit is the Two of Pentacles. So she is leaving a bad situation. She's escaping from a bad situation. My nose is still at you. And moving towards something much better suited for her. This is the Cinderella story. So I'm sure you all know the Cinderella story. So um, she she escapes um, abusive situations, toxic relationships here within the family, in within her family. And she goes to this ball and it's all magical. 
and it's it's unreal you know but that's you would never think it would be possible but that's where she's going and uh, everything's going to come together we know how the story ends and she's holding a clock in each hand so I feel like you're not quite out of this dark period yet, but it's coming. But you have to take the opportunity when it comes. You have to see the opportunity when it comes, and you have to believe and follow the signs. You may receive signs too. Um, it's all in the timing. You have to believe and trust. That's what I'm getting here. So maybe um, focus on where you want to be headed rather than looking behind. Don't look at the disappointments. Don't get stuck in your head. Don't get stuck on this island. Jump in that water. Do what you have to do to meet that, uh, that boat in the distance there, right? Do what you can with what you know at the moment and trust signs and your intuition and it will it will lead you in the right direction so that's what I'm getting for your reading I hope you found that helpful leave me a comment give me a like share and please subscribe click that bell notification button for next time I post a video so take care and we'll see you for the following reads bye for now